Life is complicated, challenging, and can be very unpredictable. One day you're up and another day you're down. All this can create a roller coaster of emotions. However, being proactive with our mental health can help reduce mental issues like depression, anxiety, and the need for professional help or the use of pharmaceuticals. Taking small steps every day can enable more stable mental health and well-being. This video can help you learn such approaches. Dr. Ted here and welcome to the channel. Today's topic is proactive mental health. Being proactive with your mental health starts with time alone. Life can be, let's face it, very busy. Going to work, school, dealing with family, and just trying to keep your head above water can take a lot of time and energy from you, leaving at the end of the day little left over for you. In working with people over the years, I have found if they can hit the escape button for a bit, better mental health can be gained. However, this can be a challenge for some people with big family responsibilities, work responsibilities. Still a breakaway can do wonders. If for example, you could go away on a little trip by yourself or perhaps just spend the afternoon walking alone uh, along the waterfront, for example. During this time, you really need to pay attention to your thoughts and feelings. See where they take you. You can better decide on a better course of action as a result because I feel once distractions are taken away, these may be these thoughts that you've been having, maybe they've always been there, can start coming into your brain and you can kind of process them easier. So as a result of these breakaways, you could say, you can start putting off that procrastination that you've been doing maybe towards starting a business or take a class to better your education. Let your instincts guide you. Ever think after you made a decision, I always knew this was the way to go. When you think about it, you can have many answers already inside of you. We have many experiences in life that help build wisdom for us. We need to trust ourselves and believe in ourselves. I feel that if you have the same recurring thought or feeling, we need to honor that. In a sense, it's crying out for attention from you. You need to address it. Such things can guide many people to greatness. Don't overload yourself, unload. Again, we take on so many tasks, projects throughout the days, the weeks, the months, and as a result, can tax us, right? And we don't have that freedom to do what we want. We keep saying, yes, yes, yes. But ask yourself, do you always need to say yes? Do you think you might disappoint people if you say no? Do you feel that you might not get that promotion at work if you say no to your manager? There's no shame in saying no to people or to a task that is assigned to you. Ask yourself, what is the worst thing that can happen? Maybe someone gets a little angry or bent out of shape. They'll be okay. It's important to realize that you need to take care of yourself. It's no one else's responsibility. So stand up for yourself. Say no. Your body, your mind will thank you for this. Do your best to connect with others. I presently live in Shanghai and perhaps you heard that we had two months of lockdowns that confined people to their homes. Now that brought on many challenges, let me tell you, but despite all the challenges, one of the biggest was isolation. In the building group chat, I was noticing people really were trying to do any way they can to connect with others. Part of our being is a sense of connection to others. It is essential for our spirit, you could say. So find time each day to connect with people. This can include meeting with friends just for coffee or just meeting someone for a walk. Simple acts of connection lift your spirits and provide you with energy. The power of connection is considerable and energizing. Be sure to seize it. Take care of your physical self. 
You can never forget the power of your physical being. How is your physical self? Out of breath, walking up the stairs, poor diet, poor sleep. Such things can really impact your physical power. You don't feel good because your body's not working at its best. Reward your body with a healthy diet, good sleep, and my, my favorite, working out. Your body will reward you with a more alert mind and be able to digest more complex issues and problems with greater ease. You will feel more relaxed as a result. I hope some of the tips I shared in this video allow you to be more proactive with your mental health. In doing so, you'll feel more powerful and in control. You will gain a more positive mindset. So I encourage you, don't be reactive. Take action now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and share any comments you have. So until the next video, wishing you the best mental health wherever you are in the world. Want more content on mental health? Have a look at this video.